all I care about is my peaks and my freaks. What's up guys, welcome back. Glad you're here. I'm pretty excited today. So, my buddy told me that he tried Raishi, Reishi, I think it's Reishi mushrooms. And he went to the vitamin shop with me yesterday and he bought them. And let me, he heard about them from RSD Tyler, pickup guy, big social, uh, real social dynamics, Tyler. And this is what Tyler said about him. He says, uh, this is his whole thing. He, do, he has like a stack when he goes out. And he said, to get the same effect as alcohol, I do 20 minutes of meditation a day, combined with going out all the time. The cumin, I can't even say this word right. The cool, cumulative, the cumulative effect of going out every day plus meditation gives you a better, even keeled, uninhibited state of mind than alcohol, but in a clean way where you peak at the end of the night when it counts. For energy, if I require it, I'll bring green tea powder packets to the club and get a water and mix it up. This not only makes you look savvy as fuck to the girls when they see it, but you're loading up on antioxidants and getting it much less harmful on the adrenals version of caffeine. Uh, he says he also takes 85% plus dark chocolate, and he said then add in reishi mushroom for the top effect, as this will make you extremely even killed and get your brain firing on all cylinders. Reishi is so effective because it's an aptogenic herb that amps up your immune system so high that you feel at ease. That was pretty cool. So. I went out, this is my first time taking them, I'm actually going to take uh, the dosing on this, this is Vitamin Shops brand, the dosage on this is, is 1200 milligrams, so it says two capsules, there's 50 servings in here, it says take about two to three capsules twice a day, I already took three this morning, I'm going to take three right now. Pretty average size capsules. So, what is Raishi? Ganoderma lucidum is the actual, I guess, scientific name for this mushroom. Commonly known as Ling Zi in Chinese is a herbal mushroom known to have miraculous health benefits. When it is taken regularly, it can restore the body to its natural state, enabling all organs to function normally. Like Tyler said, it's an apigenic herb, and he said it can amp up the immune system so high that you feel at ease. That's really cool. Immune modulator regulates and fine tunes the immune system. Benefits. Helps to detox, detoxify and regenerate the liver. Uh, also, it's known for calming and balancing effects on mood. Uh, this is, you know, I'm all about, like, better social interactions, uh, speaking to people, public speaking, talking to a man, talking to a woman. Um, you know, many of you guys in the pickup going out seeing just if you're trying to wean off the alcohol or go completely without it this is really cool my friend told me he kind of convinced me to buy it he said I took it the other day on my walk right before I went to walk and I just walked for like an hour and a half dude and then he gave me some I tried it first time and we went on a walk and I don't know you know placebo of course whatever but when I went on the walk it's like my eyes just felt like they were wider, like just a little wider open, just calm, um, I feel good, I feel really good, just calm and present, but you know, I've been meditating, I don't know how much it is for this mushroom, I'm going to stick on it, I'm going to finish this bottle, uh, I'll 
let you guys know, but from what I've been reading, they call it like an elixir, uh, just to have some very good uh, health benefits. So the third one inhibits histamine release to help with allergies. So summertime, we'll let pollen help with allergies. Um, yeah, so this reshi mushroom looks like a big red kidney. From what it, I don't know if it's huge or if it's small, but it looks kind of like a kidney. So guys, if you want to be calm, if you want to be in Zen, want some something to boost you going out, being present, give this a try. I was gonna, so I was in the car today, and there was this guy, and his name was Rusty. Rusty, he was born, he's seven years old, and he was born in 1945 on Christmas Day. And I was sitting right, I was driving, I was in the car with him for about an hour, hour and a half. We were going to some city I haven't, I've like never been to. Anyways, he did, he talked, I kept asking him questions, you know, I want to see what this guy knows, he's lived for seven years, he knows more than me, he's lived a life. He was married, he got married when he was 23, I'm thinking to myself, damn, it's whole time. 50 years this dude's been married, pretty much. So, I asked him, you know, he's telling me stories about the years, looking back, one of the stories was his daughter. You know, he had a daughter and she had a baby. She had two dogs. And one of the dogs pulled the baby out of the crib and like shook it. It killed the baby. Three, it was three days old. Killed the baby. His daughter fell into some major depression. Um, would have nightmares all the time. Had to move out of the city. Right, would call her dad. Had to move out of the city. Um, just crazy that you know that shit happens. Uh, he also just like being married, how he met his wife, what he would do back in what would it have been the 1960s, late 1960s, and him and his wife would go out. Um, they would go out on the town, like go to different bars, and he would try to get in. They didn't have an ID, and they would sneak alcohol and just like go to parties and stuff. I would ask him what he would do for fun, they would dance. And I'm living, I'm just like, kind of picturing all this stuff going on. Rusty, growing up, he's 70 years old now. He's been on this earth 70 years. And I'm 23, sitting right next to him. And it was so real, I don't know, it was just so real. Him telling us, this man, had li he's leaving behind some sort of legacy. <clears throat> That the realness too, that we all leave behind some sort of legacy. Rusty, 1945, Christmas Day. Will he be remembered? You know, what will he be remembered for? I asked him if he had any regrets. I asked him if he would have could go back, what would he do? What would he change? He said nothing. But in him, I almost, I saw like a sadness, a, like a unsatisfaction. Guy, I don't, man, that's it. I don't, I don't even have any more to say, but there, we all have a legacy. We all have a legacy that we're going to leave. Someone will remember, right? We're, and that ends when the last person that knows us dies. That, the last memories that we've left on people when they die. What will you do with your time? So guys, I'll see you soon. Have a great night.